Hey guys, hey YouTube, welcome back along. Um, we're out here in the bush. We just had a night out there, it was really nice. Um, perfectly clear night until about two o'clock in the morning when it started to rain. So I wanted to show you really quickly uh, a very small, simple tarp setup that uh, I did last night. It worked really well for me, I really liked it. Um, it only requires one tarp. I'm gonna use for the purpose of this a very thick, heavy, smart 365. It's gonna take five pieces of string, including the ridge line here today, and the ridge line, contrary to normal setup, is gonna be the last piece. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'll show you, I'll get my tarp laid out, and we'll whack this together really fast, really simple. You can set this up anywhere, in the bush, on the open, in the flats, it's fine. It's a great little shelter, so long as you're not expecting um, a change of direction in the wind. All right, so what I've done here with this this tarp is a 1.8 by, 1 .8 by 2.4 meter tarp. I'm just gonna lay it out flat here on the ground like this in between two trees that are gonna form my ridge line eventually. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pegging out the very front. We're gonna use a peg on each corner and a toggle. Super huge fan of toggles, they make your life so simple. So it's just as easy as getting a peg in the ground Find any little piece of stick, poke the little loop of string from your peg up through the hole in the bottom of the corner of the tarp, peg through the, peg through the loop, toggle one done. Same thing on the other side, we're going to pull it nice and tight this time. There we go, past all the rocks. Now that we've got the bottom squared down and out, we're gonna choose the ground sheet size. This is pretty simple, we're just gonna lay this down on top of it, that's my sleeping pad. I'm gonna leave a few extra inches on the front edge for overhang, just so that my sleeping pad doesn't end up in the dirt. I'm gonna go back behind that. We're gonna get a peg in the ground back here. We're gonna get a peg in the ground on the other side, same deal. Same thing back here. That in there. There's a toggle. That one's set. Tie it back here. Now it's time to pull up the ridge. I've tied back here to this tree, very low. It's only just a little bit higher than my knee. I've tied my string on with a bow line over on that end. I'm gonna pull it across front of my, uh, the front line of my tarp. I'm gonna put a trucker's hitch on the other side. As part of my standard string kit, I always carry little non-rated carabiners like this and little loops of string tied up with double pushmans. These make prussics, which are super handy because then you can just pick this all up, snap it on, snap it on, pull it tight. And now to eliminate this sag in here, this droopiness, this to stop this fly from sitting on us and creating all sorts of condensation through the evening, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our two other little bits of string as promised, five strings including the ridge line. One string there other string here come back around retention all these just to pull it down and now if you really want to and I did last night is I took a toggle from this hole here I just came down over the top of the ridge line pulled it out to my last peg right out front just out here the beauty of a toggle is that any stick is a toggle There it is. Just like that. In just a few minutes. Perfectly adequate. I slept in here last night. Oh, it was perfect. As you can see, there's a lot more space above me. Tarp's a little bit longer than I am tall, so I had space to put all of my sleeping bag up top here. I had my head down the other end. It was actually a very, very, very comfortable sleep. It's a very super easy shelter to put up. Good in a quick emergency. You could start with the fly. You could start with the fly on the ridge line, I suppose. I just like to finish with it. That way I don't start high and then end up with no ground sheet underneath. But any which way, guys, that's it. That's my quickie tarp shelter for the day. All you need is one two meter by two and a half meter tarp. It's plenty big, I found. You can even make this a little bit smaller. You can shorten this in. You can pull your ridge a little bit further over if you really wanted to, if the weather was gonna be a little bit worse. Although if the weather was gonna be worse, I think I would go with a whole different setup.
Cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out today.